Hey guys, it's the Bullet Guy Gamer. Um, today we're gonna fix a PS4 controller and replace all the uh, rubber parts for the buttons underneath. So. What you're gonna need is a uh, triple zero, very small Phillips screwdriver head. And then today we're using, uh, you can order these almost anywhere online. And inside, what we're gonna be doing, get all the stuff out of here. Not losing anything. So, these are all the pieces. Basically, you know, for the this part. So yeah, let's first tear into this controller. Just give you a heads up, I've never done this before. Um, so it can't be that hard. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I've watched videos, so we'll see how it goes. Let's start out by taking... I think I got the wrong bit. That's not going to work. Yeah, so it's a double zero. That's what it is. Let's put this over here. Okay guys, so after uh, much struggle, um, I finally got these two apart. As you can see there's the bottom piece. You're going to have to take a piece of like a metal or something and then like flat and get it in around the controller and go around as you're popping them off in order to get this off. There's the battery. Make sure you take the battery out. You can replace these batteries, from what I understand, with um, a bigger battery. And the batteries out of the PS3 controllers are actually bigger than these, so just a heads up. Longer battery life. Okay, so there's one screw on the board that I'm taking off. Okay, now there is a thing on the board here that you have to remove. It's a little, uh, basically attaches the board to this little right here see it you sunt it it goes right into there you gotta remove that now one thing I want to stress like I said I haven't done this before so as you can see, it looks like this has to come, these have to come up with the board. Okay, 
anything in milk. Be very careful doing this, people. Okay, so this whole thing, and I got hair in there already. I'm not sure how I got that in there. You got a can of compressed air. Just give it a quick blast. Um, I want nothing falling out here. So this is the underside. As you can see, this is the circuit board. This is the back side. We're gonna set this down gently right here. Or how about the other way? I don't know. I don't want any phone out here. I guess we're gonna send set it down like this. For now. Okay. Okay, here's the uh Actually, you know what? It doesn't look like they gave us the proper buttons. It says it is. No, it says it is. Okay. So here, here's the underside, as you can see. And here's the rubber. So... Where did this come from? These are the buttons. Let's not lose these. That's the share button, and the other one, I believe, is the... So let's put these back. Okay. So this here... is where the X button would have went. And this is where the problem was. Okay. So if you look at the X button, it's actually cracked. So if we grab one of these, it seems to work better. Oh. While you're in here, it doesn't hurt to clean it. I'm just trying to see the difference here. It seems a bit worn. You could actually see the stress in the button, but it's not all the way through. So I don't know if you can see this. If you look in here, you can see, especially on this one here, you can see the stress. Like it wasn't broken through, but enough to, you know. So we're gonna take that out, and here's the new one. We're gonna put these back. And by the way, we're gonna replace all these because, uh, well, no, no, I'm not gonna replace the trigger buttons, actually. Because then I gotta take them off, and I don't wanna do that. So. Well, with the old one, and of course, here's the uh, other one that's probably still good. We're going to replace it.
No. What stuff? Well, bring it on the table. Put it on the table. I'm just trying to get this way to get here. That feels good. Um, okay, that feels good. Okay. Let's go ahead and put that screw back. screw back to hold the board in place. Okay. Turn the buttons out now. They feel better. They all feel the same. They'll have to be broken in obviously a little bit. Everything works with this bottom controller because I gotta put the spring back. And don't forget to put the tab back here into the board. We don't want to forget that. And don't break it, whatever you do. I'm gonna use a pair of tweezers. Just, you know, be careful when you're doing it. Not too hard. Make sure it's all the way in the hole. Mine looks like it's in there. Buttons still work. The biggest thing I don't like is, uh, we got, we got going on over here is um don't forget to put the battery back for one that's very important which is right here and uh and it goes in one way Now, I seen somebody else take this part and it had some sticky stuff on the bottom. It, 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 it won't hurt to put some tape or something in there to hold this battery in while you're fiddling with this. I don't think it'll do anything. I might. I haven't done this yet. I'm trying to figure out how this button goes back because it's in the controller with the pin. That's a concern. Um, I do believe I should take it off and put it back. Um, That's uh, this end of it right here. Um, oh, well, there's the pin, so you don't want to lose the pin. The pin goes in like that, so let's take. that out and 
we don't want to break anything, it's all plastic. Okay, so I did manage to get this back in here, and I don't know if you can see, there is a pin in here, and you do not want to lose that. You can't not mess it up, it's, it's, it's a, shows like there's an arrow here, and uh, it shows where the pin goes into to make this spring back into action. You see like that? Okay. Everything else works. I just got to put the backpack on here and I do have to put the pin back into here. I would recommend putting something to hold this down. That's going to be a pain. Even a little piece of tape. I don't think it'll hurt anything. Um, now I'm not going to a lie. I have a piece here that fell out when I was opening it. I'm going to hold a piece of tweezers here. I haven't found where that goes yet. I have to find where this goes. Um, I think it might be off of this part of the controller, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I don't think it broke off. Let's see. No, it did definitely didn't break off. Um, I don't really know. I think it might go into here. Let's take this battery out for a second. Yeah, I think that's where it goes. Yeah, that's what that's where it goes. It goes right here as a hole it fits into. So, okay, we got that figured out. Now we gotta figure out this freaking battery. Now it's a matter of putting everything back together so that um, now we also have to put this. Cable we got here back into the uh, controller, and I think it's all the way in. If it's not, we'll have to tear it apart. Do it again. Okay, battery back. Okay, now we gotta carefully, and I do mean carefully get everything back together here so it's this is the, the fun part Everything seems to be good. Now before I screw this back together, try all your buttons, try your analogs, push down on everything, push down on the analog joysticks, okay? Circle, square, circle, triangle, square, X, R2, or R1, R2, L1, L2, share options. Everything seems to work without it running. I'm not gonna put the screws back in. Another thing I didn't do, and, um, no, I didn't screw it down. You should probably do. I didn't do it. I could tear it apart and do it again. Not a big deal. Is um, clean your controller while you have it out. It's probably a good idea. So I'm gonna go try this out, and I'll be right back. All right, there you have it, guys. Um, it works. I tried it out. So now I'm just gonna put the screws back. Try not to lose them. Pretty simple fix. Like I said, it's just a lot of parts in there, and uh, you might want to do this if you want to take your controller apart and paint it. Some people have been doing that. Um, 
I took mine apart because the, uh, what is that? I just found an extra hole in my controller. Hmm, interesting. So yeah, I took mine apart because the buttons were wearing out, you know, and there's uh, no need to go buy another controller when you can buy like replacement parts for 10 bucks, right? Upload this video tonight after I take my younger ones to the library. If I'm lucky, there might be some games there, but I doubt it. Our library has uh, oh shit, lost the screw. There we go. Do not strip these uh, screws because you'll never get them out. And uh, you make them tight but not too tight. The biggest thing is using the proper Phillips head that will prevent you from stripping the screws when you might later take this apart. And you also don't want them too loose so that, um, you know, you can't uh, get it apart next time. So there you have it. Everything's nice and tight. Everything works. Just got to wipe her down, clean her up. And uh, here you go. PS4 controller. Button repair. D-pad basically in your triangle, square, X and circle button repair and your uh, PlayStation button. That's uh, another video from uh, Bald Guy Gamer. Until next time, talk to you guys later.